it's Fember and welcome back to another speed build video. I know it's been a while which is something I'm always saying in every video but my life's busy so don't love that from me at all. <laughs> Just saying. Anyways so I have for you guys today a um, what would you call like an autumn build. I had every intention to release this back in September but as you can tell now it's October and it's October 19th and <laughs> I'm really late at least I didn't release this in December oh my god can y'all imagine I'm like look at autumn build and everybody's already building like Christmassy houses and stuff and I just feel like so dumb <laughs> in that point but uh, what can you do so this house isn't very big it's two bedrooms um I went on ahead and I was messing around with uh, Sims 4, uh, what do you call it, story? What is it, the story mode, maker, sim, blah, 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 I don't even remember. I haven't turned on Sims 4 in over a month, so don't at me. <laughs> anyway, so I had messed with it that day and I ended up creating a male sim who had a really high, um, what do you call it, baking skill, which I was surprised about because I don't remember really any questions that were related to baking like at all when I was filling it out but maybe there was some and I wasn't paying attention I'm not sure but anyways so I ended up with him and I was like okay well I'm gonna build him a house to see what I can come up with and this is the house I think it is very cute I love the colors I love the brick I love the inside <laughs> of course which you guys are gonna see in a few minutes I think it came out really adorable um Anyways, so uh, I was going to make it just like a normal, just like two bedroom house, like, a, you know, his room and a potential either an office or like a future kids room or something. But I went back to the whole baker thing and I ended up just making him a room that he can put that baking oven in since it, since it is a separate thing to do and at some point I feel like I'm going to make him his bakery which I haven't uploaded any community lots on my channel as far as I'm aware I do build them sometimes in some of my uh, personal saves I do have like a club here or there or I built like a cafe or two but I never actually uploaded anything of that sort so I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and do that at some point I'm gonna make his bakery and add it on there because I do have a bakery on my um, what do you call it uh, God I can't remember my mind just the gallery Jesus Lord have mercy <laughs> I'm so sorry you guys like I just woke up and it's like well it's four in the afternoon but y'all know I work nights a lot and like today I'm working a weird schedule of eight p.m. to 3 a.m. which it's kind of like my boss keeps joking saying oh look you're working a mid shift I'm like what so I could do half night audit and half I guess normal front desk stuff I don't know anyways so yeah so I have every intention to make his bakery I can't tell you when it's going to come out because like I said I haven't turned on sims 4 in a very long time I've been well working a lot you know because of my situation and all and it's <clears throat> the season is getting busier for me just because I'm picking up extra hours at work and blah 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 so I haven't really had a lot of free time to really be on the computer but the times that I have been on the computer I've been playing paladins which if you guys don't play paladins you totally should even if shooters aren't really your thing it's so much fun even if you're not playing with friends like I have my friends from Twitter that we play you know whenever we can usually they're playing when I'm at work so I'm sad but sometimes they're nice and they'll play <laughs> when I'm at home so that we can play together but it is a lot a lot of fun and even if like I said you're not really good at shooters you'll have fun with it just because I think it's a good learning game for shooters for the most part and the game totally gets me frustrated and I get mad about it because you know I want to win <laughs> I'm not hardcore competitive but I get in the mood where sometimes I am so there's that but anyways it's a really cool game and if I'm not playing that Sims 3 has once again taken over my soul so I just I know like the graphics may not be the best and I know that a lot of computer systems can't really run the Sims 3 just because of how big it is but if you can play the Sims 3 I highly highly recommend that you do it's 
totally different from The Sims 4. It's so fulfilling. There's just so many things, activities, cute things, like animations and stuff. Like, I adopted a puppy uh, yes, uh, last night when I was playing. And I was, uh, her name's Molly. She's, like, the cutest little thing. She was running around, and she actually tripped and fell, like, on her tummy. And it was just, like, the cutest thing. Like, they make the puppies look clumsy and stuff. And just, there's just so much more in the sims 3 there is in the sims 4 like i recently opened twitter because i haven't really been on it at all sorry if you guys were hoping for me to be posting stuff and everything i know my social networking skills are horrible i see that we're getting sims 4 university i think it's called discover university the leaks have been coming out i noticed pixel has been posted a video the other day about it and everything and i'm like I'm actually pretty sad to say, but I'm not really that excited about it, just because my expectations when it comes to Sims 4 and getting new content have just, uh, it's just kind of non-existent now and it makes me sad, because I had really high hopes for Realm of Magic. I played it, the day, I got it the day it came out, I played it for about four days straight, and then I finished it for the most part, and I was just... <sighs> I was just really disappointed, and I'm not trying to make this video about how I'm disappointed in The Sims 4. But anyway, so Sims 3 all the way. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's really great. If you haven't played it, you should. You really, really should. It's totally worth the money. I, uh, uh, One of my friends, Noobsy, did say that on CD Keys, they had it on sale. Like, the base game was like $6. That's it. Just $6. Not $40 or anything crazy. Just $6. So, I mean, if you guys want to check it out, try it out. Like I said, I highly recommend that you should do it. Anyway, so back to this build, since I should actually talk about it. I already did the kitchen, now I'm just doing the living room. I went on ahead and tried to keep it with the whole autumn theme. So there's like, you know, lots of browns and oranges and a little bit of yellow here and there. But it's not overly bright, but I feel like it's really cozy and like just warm and nice. And with the fireplace, I really was going to use the fake fireplace, but I couldn't find... Um, what do you call it, the fake logs or whatever that came with, I think with an update, or it might have came with base game, I can't remember, and I couldn't find them, so I was like, okay, well, we're going to use a real fireplace, because <laughs> I don't want this thing just to sit empty, it won't even look right, because, uh, Jesus, but anyways, uh, so here we are in the bedroom, it is, like I said, it's two bedroom, but the second room, I did turn it into like a bakery shop, whatever, which we're going to be messing with in a minute when I'm done with this little clutter that I have on his dresser, I shouldn't even say little clutter, because it covered his whole freaking dresser, but I was like, whatever, it needs to be there, just because I said so, but anyhow, so, uh, also, like I said before, the sim I did make, um, for this room was a male sim, so, you know, his room isn't like, I guess, like, oh my god, pretty princessy, or not even that, I shouldn't even say that, I just, more feminine, I guess, it's obviously more masculine, but I really like it, um, I had an issue trying to put up, but, yeah, come up with the right, uh, wallpaper for it, but I ended up picking out this, like, what we call, like, maroon and gold color, which I think really tied the bedroom together, like, I really, really liked it, I thought it came out really cute, and at first, when I was doing this build, I did think it was a little small, I know I don't really show it in my camera movements when, when I'm building, but I did feel like the living room was going to be too small, or, like, I wasn't going to be able to fit a dining room, because normally when I build houses, I do kind of have an idea, or at least I've been on Pinterest for a while, so I'm just like, okay, well, I'm going to make it about this big, or this, blah, 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 or whatever. For this house, I didn't. I'm trying to do the whole, oh, I'm just going to think of a house in my head, and then try to build it on The Sims, and... There's a lot of failing to that, honestly, and then um, I get lucky, and I come out with a house like this that I feel like came out really well, or at least I think so. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments <laughs> if you think the house came out really well or not. But anyway, so here we are um, in the second bedroom. Like I said, it's going to be, it's for the baking part, so I went on ahead and put in that weird oven thingy which I'm not sure why it looks like that or why they decided to put that in there I feel like a regular oven would have just been fine but I guess I mean it's kind of cute it's just kind of big and bulky so at first I didn't think it was gonna fit in the room at all but I managed to get it in there and it seemed to work fine because I did have the sim bake um what was it like some cupcakes or cookies or something 
in it just to test it out just to make sure like you know when you guys download this house from the gallery that you know you were gonna be able to use it because that kind of sucks also I'm sure you've noticed by now that the house is complete but there's no bathroom uh, <laughs> there is a bathroom uh, it's just it's outside he has an outhouse in this build which at first I was like crap there's no bathroom how am I gonna change the layout of the house and I was like you know what outhouses are cute kinda I mean whatever it, it'll look fine it'll be fine so I made his bathroom out there he does have like you know a toilet and a bathtub and a sink and everything in there he just you know when he has to potty he's just gonna have to walk outside brave the blizzard or thunderstorm to go use the bathroom which I hope it's not too bad and I hope you guys don't hate it but I, I don't know I feel like it tied in the house and the whole kind of like country autumn theme look that I was kind of going for I even put the washer and dryer in the bathroom I just stacked them up right there in the corner so you know he can just do his laundry in there and he's already in the bathroom so you know he can get everything done right then and there and as for uh, the backyard, uh, I don't really put too much in there. I just make like a little path or walkway for him. And I put some uh, planters out there so he can grow some herbs and fruits and vegetables and stuff to help with his uh, baking skill and making awesome food and whatnot. And then, of course, I gave him the clothesline. Even though he does have a dryer, I kind of like to do both because, I don't know, for some reason I really like to have my Sims hang their clothes out to dry, especially on summer days. And I always use it in The Sims 3, which, by the way, Sims 3 has basically everything that The Sims 4 does, plus, like, a million things more. So, here I am just, like, advertising for Sims 3. <laughs> I think if I really wanted to advertise, I should put Sims 3 content on my channel. But I'm still, like, I'm sure you guys have heard me in other videos. I'm still on the fence about it. However, I did do a build for... Uh, the Sims 3 the other day because the building in that game is like 10 times harder than it is on The Sims 4 just for a warning there <laughs> and the house came out really cute I was quite surprised I thought it was gonna look bulky and weird because the roofing in that game is rather unforgiving but somehow I managed to put it off really well and if you want to check out that picture I did post it on Twitter like a few minutes ago so it's on there if y'all want to see but anyways, so <laughs> here I am just doing the rest of the decorating of the house, just adding some curtains, little things here and there. We're about to bring up the screenshots in a few moments, which I feel like I've done a pretty got yeah, pretty good job when it can when it comes to my screenshots, maybe. I feel like I'm still lacking in that department somewhat, but eh. I don't know. I'm sure since you guys will just get to see the pictures, you'll think everything's fine. Like I said, I really do like this house. I think it's cute. I like the clutter like in the front of the house. And I really love the bedroom. The dining room like here I think is very cute too with the uh, with the plants and everything. Like, I don't know. I feel like it came out fine. I'm sure you guys would agree. And if not, you guys could leave it in the comments below and be like, Vampir, that sucks. We didn't like it. Boo. And then I'll be like, aww. And then I'll have to try and <laughs> Then I have to try and build something else. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. If you liked what you saw today before, yeah, be sure to, you know, give the video a big thumbs up. Go on ahead and comment down below if you have something to say. And, of course, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to do so so you don't miss another video. Bye.